Wake up. You are the conscience who observes everything and don't judge. Install absolute happiness in where it is clear to you that you are all that cluster of divine qualities. The only thing that you need is to accept it. Fully understand who you are and stop resisting. Allow yourself to feel the calm, the peace, and let your mind calm down. Let your spirit and your divine nature be done charge of any mental restlessness. When you know that you are a being of light, you know that the divine spirit accompanies you everywhere. Therefore, you fully trust in this wonderful force. You know that you will never be alone. Your mind just knows and remains at rest and never again you will feel alone or wrong because now you know what happens. Whatever happens, there is a huge blessing behind everything that I even could disturb you because finally you have let divine power direct your life from now on. You are clear about yourself's true nature. You are not an individual separated from love divine. You are now on the contrary loving unity, experiencing each process of your daily existence without judging them because you are a divine being, showing you at every step of your life your enormous capacity love. You and love everything exists. Why is it so arduous work to observe us beyond a simple physical body? We come here in this wrapper, physical, but we are not this body. We are beyond what we think. Behind everything, there is your essence, your nature. It is divine. As divine is the whole creating a space of conscience. When do you think you are something? You separate from the unit. Then you identify with what your mind tells you that you are. But I assure you that even without a body, you still exist. If you are not your body... Then you turn to what? If you are, you are a spirit full of joy, experiencing each other moment. Please don't identify with the experience, with your processes. They are the purpose of your stay in this physical plane. The problem is that people identify with their experiences, and you are not experiences or your processes. You are so much more than that. No matter what decisions take in your life, You are not them. You are not your mind either. She is just a flow of thoughts. Maybe some refer to you with such vehemently, you think that you are that, but you are not. Your desire to be real and true makes you hold onto one ID. Your real self has nothing to do with your achievements, with your physical appearance, with your knowledge, with your emotions. Many times you have identified and have suffered for those identities. But you do not exist only as an individual physical. You are still without a body, without thought. You are the one who watches everything before joining. You are the conscience that is made present in a universe united to all. Without the mind or the body, believing that you are only your body generates a lot of fear. Lose him and then disappear. Nobody told you that all you can see is you. So... If you can observe your body and each part of it, you are the one who looks. Could you tell me, so I am my mind and each of my thoughts? And the answer is no. If you observe, then you are the observer behind everything. No one has seen him. He is so hidden that is immune to your physical death that will continue to give your life. It is the conscience attached to everything. No longer you can differentiate the limits of your personal self because you will have diluted in your consciousness, observes everything united to everything how much exists. It will be then that you will understand the term of being one because consciousness can perceive itself as a unit, knows that everything is descendant of the same source, everything that exists conform. There is no longer a body There is no time, there is no inside or outside, therefore, there is no duality. There is only the conscience observing your divine nature, therefore, everything becomes energy. Loving. It is very difficult for us to understand 
that what we live is only an experience that in the end leads to the unit where everything went the way perfect for what you will achieve love, you and love what you say see outside of you. There is no outside and inside more than in your mind. You manage to love yourself fully. The erroneous disappears wrong that you see outside of you. What you really are never dies. Neither belongs no judgment external. Realize that what others see wrong in you is really what they have not healed within you. From the same way as when you do not like something outside of you, there really is a projection of your emotional wounds healed. Therefore, what you perceive is emotional memories of this and all your lives. Remember that when you understand the above free, from your mind that is not more than the flow of thoughts, do not allow yourself to identify with the many times you think you are what others see in you, but I return it to you to say what others see in you is really what they have been identified with themselves and projected on to others.